A bomber is a combat aircraft designed to attack ground and naval targets by dropping air-to-ground weaponry such as bombs, launching torpedoes, or deploying air-launched cruise missiles. The first use of bombs dropped from an aircraft occurred in the Italo-Turkish War, with the first major deployments coming in the First World War and Second World War by all major air forces, causing devastating damage to cities, towns, and rural areas. So today, let's have a look at the 10 best bomber aircraft according to our selection. Up first at number 10 is Sukhoi Su-34. The Sukhoi Su-34 bomber serves as one of the frontline bombers in the Russian Air Force's strategic aviation fleet. The bomber made its first flight in April 1990 and the first production aircraft passed through testing phase in late 2006. The auxiliary fuel tanks and in-flight refueling provide the Su-34 with long-range capabilities to compete with other medium strategic bombers. The aircraft can carry 8,000 kilograms of weapons, including guided bombs, incendiary bombs, unguided bombs, and cluster bombs. Other armaments include a 30mm gun, guided air-to-air, -air, air to surface missiles, and unguided missiles. The engines enable the aircraft to fly at a maximum speed of 1,900 km per hour and the normal range of the aircraft is 1,100 km, whereas the ferry range is 4,000 km. At number 9 is Sukhoi Su-24M. The Su-24M is the modern frontline bomber indigenously produced and designed for bombardment of ground and naval surface targets through bombs and missiles. The Su-24MK, a special export version of the Su-24M, was also exported to Algeria, Libya, Iran, Iraq, and Syria. SU-24M production ended in 1993. The SU-24M is armed with GSH 623mm gun and can carry 8,000 kg of combat load, including 80mm rockets and blocks and 10 500kg high-explosive fragmentation bombs. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 1,700 km per hour and can reach a distance of 2,850 km when fitted with two patrol tanks. At number 8 is Xi'an H-6. The Xi'an H-6 is a strategic bomber in service with the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force and is a Chinese variant of the Tupolev Tu-16 bomber. The PLA Navy also operates missile carrier versions of the H-6. The first Chinese-built H-6 bomber entered into service with the PLAAF in 1969. The H-6 internal weapon bay can house up to 9,000 kg of 250 kg to 3,000 kg class general-purpose bombs or single nuclear bomb. The bomber is also armed with two 23mm cannons and anti-ship or air-to-surface missiles. The aircraft has a cruise speed of 796 km per hour or Mach 0.75 and can travel to a range of approximately 6,000 km. At number 7 is Tupolev Tu-95. The Tupolev Tu-95 is a turboprop-powered strategic bomber and missile carrier developed by Tupolev. The Tu-95 prototype made its first flight in November 1952 and the bomber entered into service with the Soviet Union's DA or long-range aviation in 1957. The Tu-95 can carry 23mm cannons and up to 15,000 kg of combat load including air-to-surface missiles and bombs. The Russian Air Force currently operates a fleet of 95 a bomber missile carrier version of Tu-95. The NK-12M turboprop engines, driving four AB-60K coaxial propellers, makes Tu-95 the only strategic bomber equipped with a turboprop power plant. The aircraft can attain a maximum speed of 830 km per hour and a range of 15,000 km. At number 6 is Tupolev Tu-22M. The Tupolev Tu-22M bomber is a supersonic long-range strategic and maritime bomber manufactured by Tupolev based on the design of the Tu-22 aircraft. Tu-22M bomber performed maiden flight in 1969 and entered into service in 1972. It was first deployed in Afghanistan from 1987 to 1989 and since then a total of 497 Tu-22M bombers were built. The aircraft carries a crew of four and can accomplish a maximum speed of 2,000 km per hour and maximum tactical range of 2,200 km. 
it can load KH-20 to standoff missiles, 6 KH-15 nuclear or KH-15P, anti-radar missiles KH-31AP, and KH-35 air-to-surface missiles and about 3 tons of free-fall bombs. At number 5 is B-52 Stratofortress. The B-52 Stratofortress is a long-range strategic heavy bomber which is the longest-serving combat aircraft in the U.S. military and supports air interdiction, maritime and offensive counter-air operations. The new Stratofortress variant B-52H can carry freefall bombs, cluster bombs, precision-guided missiles and joint direct attack munitions and has a payload capacity of 70,000 pounds. It can fly at a speed of up to 650 miles per hour to an unrefueled range of more than 10,000 miles and altitudes more than 50,000 feet. It is manned by five crew members and powered by eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 turbofan engines. Number 4 is Avro Vulcan the Avro Falcon is a power jet tailless Delta Wing high altitude strategic bomber which was operated by the Royal Air Force from 1956 until 1984. Aircraft manufacturer Avery Rowe and Company designed the Vulcan in response to specification B 3546. Of the three V bombers produced, the Vulcan was considered the most technically advanced and hence the riskiest option. Several reduced-scale aircraft designated Afro-707 were produced to test and refine the Delta Wing design principles. Its empty weight is about 83,000 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 170 tons. Up next, at number 3 is B-1B Lancer. The B-1B Lancer is a long-range strategic bomber based on B-1A bomber aircraft and has reduced radar signature compared to its base model. The B-1B performed first flight in October 1984. The B-1B was used for conventional weapon missions in 1990s and six B-1Bs were deployed in Royal Air Force Base Fairford, England in 1999 to produce assistance for Operation Allied Force in Kosovo. The aircraft carries a crew of four members and has the largest internal payload bay of any bomber. It is powered by four General Electric F-101 GE-102 turbofan engines and can load 84 Mark 82 conventional 500-pound bombs or 30 CBU or 24 JD AMS. It can also carry AGM-69A nuclear short-range attack missile. At number 2 is Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack. The Tu-160 supersonic strategic bomber and missile carrier is designed to deliver nuclear and conventional weapons. It is primarily operated by Russian Air Force and is available in eight variants. It can survive in all weather, day and night conditions and can operate at all geographical latitudes. The aircraft can carry freefall bombs up to 40 tons and has two weapon bays, which can hold 12 KH-55MS missiles and up to 24 KH-15P short-range nuclear missiles. It has in-flight refueling system and is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-32 turbofan engines. The maximum and cruise speeds of the aircraft are 2,220 km per hour and 960 km per hour respectively and the range is up to 12,300 km. At number 1 is B-2 Spirit. Primarily operated by the U.S. Air Force, the B-2 Spirit is a long-range, low-observable, strategic heavy stealth bomber that can penetrate sophisticated and dense air defense systems. The B-2 made its first flight in July 1989. A total of 20 B-2s are operational at the Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. The multi-role bomber features a generic weapons interface system and can carry 40,000 pounds of weapons payload. It can fly at an altitude of 50,000 feet with a range of more than 6,000 nautical miles unrefueled and 10,000 nautical miles with one refueling. It can carry conventional and nuclear weapons, precision-guided munitions, gravity bombs and maritime weapons. It can also carry AGM-129 advanced cruise missiles, about 80 joint direct attack munitions and two Boeing Massive Ordnance Penetrator weapons. Well, that's it guys for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can become a part of our Buzz family. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.